what's going on guys? My name is Harry Rose and this is Cloud Chef. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Khalil Mamoun, a popular brand of Egyptian-made hookah pipes. These all-metal pipes typically come in stainless steel. However, gold, silver, brass, and copper options do exist. There's many different styles of Khalil Mamoun's too, like the Cheops, World Cup Series, and the 48-inch Double Pearl I'll be demonstrating and smoking on. All Khalil Mamoun hookahs come with a very similar base. This piece is pretty thick glass and definitely good quality. Most of these pipes come with a rubber base protector, which comes in handy when using the pipe outside when you risk damage or if it slides around quite frequently. The stem is normally connected to the base with a rubber grommet or fitting. This piece varies in thickness, so finding a replacement can be somewhat tricky. However, the one they include within the purchase is normally a pretty snug fit. All Khalil's on the market thus far have a down stem which is attached to the stem. This isn't necessarily a con aside from travel purposes. On the bottom of the down stem, it can either be flat or have this little lip which comes in handy when using diffusers. On the bottom of the down stem, you'll see the bore, which is basically the diameter of the hole on the down stem. The wider it is, the larger airflow you'll get. And in most Khalil Mamun hookahs, this bore is wide open, giving you ultimate airflow for that perfect non-restricted experience. Moving up the pipe, we have the hose port, which also has a very large bore. This will add to the already awesome airflow that this pipe can achieve. Khalil Mamoun hookahs come with a stock KM hose. These are large lounge style hoses with, you guessed it, awesome airflow. These hoses pair perfectly with some of these mid to large range hookah pipes. On the opposite side of our hose port, we have our purge valve. This piece can look different on most pipes, however, they all share the same purpose. When inhaling through the pipe, you'll get a steady stream of airflow, and while exhaling through the pipe, you'll clear all the stale smoke from the base. These pieces are comprised of two main parts, a ball bearing and a screw-on cap. Moving up the pipe from here, we can start to see the true design of the stem. These pipes always remind me of what hookah bars and lounges typically have. Next comes the ashtray. While this piece has a lot of room to hold hot coals, ash and such, it does move around freely and personally I'm more of a fan of secure parts. The bowl port on a Khalil Mamoun hookah is very similar in size to the down stem. This will ensure a lot of airflow passing through while in use and complements the other airy portions on this hookah very nicely. All Khalil Mamoun hookahs I've seen so far come with a standard Egyptian clay bowl. These are simple to use and easy to work with. We even have a review and tutorial right here. But it is worth noting that sometimes these products can have minor defects since they're all hand blown. Sometimes there can be chips, cracks, and other times holes won't be punched out. It is something to note. Overall, Khalil Mamoun is one of my favorite brands of hookah pipes. From top to bottom, the parts prove to be reliable and durable. It's in my belief that one of these bad boys should be in every hookah smoker's arsenal. And thank you very much for watching. I definitely hope you were able to take something from this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to stick it in my down below. Check us out on social media for some of the latest updates, and I'll see you guys next time.